Hi, I'm Mr. Ash from Code Speak Labs, and today we're going to be coding an underwater scene in Scratch Jr. First things first, we got to choose our underwater background. So click on the sky picture at the top of your screen, and then find your underwater background. Once you click on it, click that check mark, and we're teleported underwater. But now that we have a cat underwater, that doesn't make any sense. So we're going to delete this cat sprite. Put your finger on the cat and hold it there until it starts to jiggle. Once it jiggles, click on that red X and your cat is deleted. But now we've got to put our animals that do live underwater. So click on the plus sign on the left side and start adding your characters. The first sprite I'm going to choose is the whale. Once you choose your sprite, click on the check mark and it'll appear on your screen. I'm going to do three fish today, but you can choose as many as you want. So I'll click on this plus sign again, and I'll choose this green fish. Click on that check mark. Click on the plus sign again, and I'll find my last one, the seahorse. And now I've got my three animals for my underwater scene, but they're all on top of each other. So let's move them around a bit. I'll put my seahorse over here, and I'll put my green fish up here, and I'll scoot my way a little bit to the side. Now, we're going to make our underwater animals start to move. Let's start with the whale. So on the left side of your screen, you'll see a tiny picture of your whale. Make sure you click on that one to make sure your code is inside of the right character. And now what we're going to do is add in our first block. Go to the yellow blocks and find the green flag block and add it down here to your whale's code. The green flag means go. So when we click on the green flag at the very top of your screen, all of your code is going to go. So the first thing we're going to do is teach this whale to swim. So let's go to the blue motion blocks. And you'll see all the arrows that point to which direction you want the whale to move. For this one, I want my whale to swim all the way across the screen. So let's use this right arrow and just attach it to that green flag. Now, like I said, Click on that green flag to make your code go, and let's see what happens. So click that green flag. Oh, it only moved one spot. So what we're going to do is we're going to change this number one right here to a bigger number. What I'm going to do is I'm going to change it to the number 99. That way it moves really far. So let's click on that green flag. And now you'll see my whale starts to move all the way across the screen, and then it comes back and keeps moving and keeps moving and keeps moving until it reaches 99. So that's my whales code. <clears throat> and now what I want to do is code my other animals to move as well. But for these, they're going to move a little bit differently. So click on your fish's code now. And you'll see there's no code here because we haven't told it what to do yet. But we always want to start with that green flag block. So go to the yellow blocks and find the green flag. And then we're going to teach this fish to move left and right this time. So click on those blue motion blocks again. But this time, we're going to use two blocks. First, we want to move to the right. So use the right arrow. And then we're going to move to the left. So you'll see how they connect like building blocks or like a puzzle. Now, our code says when you click the green flag, you want to move to the right one space and then move to the left one space. So let's try it out. I'll click that green flag at the top, and my whale is still going to do his code, but my fish moved one to the right and one to the left. Let's try it again so you can see. Pay attention to that green fish at the top. So I'll click the red stop sign to make my whale stop moving. But if I click the green flag, watch that green fish go to the right and then to the left, but only did it once. What we're going to do is we're going to make it move further and keep doing it over and over again. So to make our fish move further, we're going to change these numbers to be bigger. So let's change this to the number 5 and this to the number 5. So now our fish is going to move five spaces each way. So let's click on that green flag and let's see what the green fish does now. So now it moves five spaces to the right and then five spaces to the left. But then he stops. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a loop. So click on the red blocks and you'll see this block that looks like a loop-de-loop. -loop. This is called a loop encoding, which means that your code is going to repeat over and over and over and over and over again. So now what this is going to do is when I click that green flag, it's going to move to the right. 
then move to the left, and then it's going to loop-de-loop -loop back to the beginning. So it'll go back to the right again, then to the left, come back to the beginning, go right and then left, and over and over again. So now let's see what happens when I click the green flag. It goes to the right, then the left, then the right, then the left, then the right. So now it looks like a fish swimming back and forth. But now we still have one more animal left. We've got our seahorse just sitting there. We want to make our seahorse move different ways now. So our fish and our whale move left or right, but our seahorse is going to move up and down. So go ahead and click on that stop sign. Click on the seahorse's code now. And for this one, we're going to use the green flag again to make sure that we can start our code at the same time as the rest of them. So click on that yellow blocks, choose the green flag, and now we'll go to the blue arrow so we can find our motion blocks. But this time, we're going to use the up and down arrows so our seahorse can move up and down. So let's grab our up arrow, attach it like a puzzle piece, and our down arrow, attach that like a puzzle piece. And then we're going to use our loop again. So go back to the red blocks and attach your loop block to the end. Now, if you remember, the loop makes our code repeat. So the up arrow and then the down arrow, then I'll come back to the beginning, go up and then down and up and then down. So let's click that green flag and let's see all of our fish move. So now you'll see my whale still moves, my fish still moves, but my seahorse is going up and down and it's going really, really fast. So maybe I'll change that so he moves a little bit higher and a little bit lower. So let's stop. And now click on the number one. Let's change it to a bigger number so it goes up higher. Let's go with four. And then let's click on this number one for down so it comes back down four spots. So now if I click the green flag, you'll see my seahorse goes all the way up four spaces and all the way down four spaces. And that's our underwater scene. But you can keep adding more and more animals to this scene and just code them with similar code depending on how you want them to move. Have fun!